High interest savings accounts already have one foot in the grave. It was a good run while it lasted, but all good things come to an end. The problem is that rates are about to start coming down, which is good for the economy, bad for earning free money. So before rates fall, where can you put your money to keep getting guaranteed interest at rates that are even higher than all the major high interest savings accounts? What I've done is put my money in the specific Charles Schwab investment that's been around since the 1800s, currently is getting more than 5% interest, but for some reason, half of all Americans find it confusing. Certificates of deposit are super simple to invest in. They're backed by the US government. And later in this video, I'll invest in another one and take you through the process step by step so you know exactly what to do so you can lock in this guaranteed interest rate for yourself. There are a bunch of flavors of CDs with names like Bump Up, Step Up, Callable, Zero Coupon. There are pros and cons to all of them, but today we're talking strictly about the high yield variety. But for starters, the name, it's terrible. Terrible. Certificate of deposit, like do I print this thing out? Does it go on the fridge? What, uh, what? It's simply this. When you put your money in a CD, you lend a bank your money for a set period of time. And in exchange, the bank promises to pay you a guaranteed interest rate on that money at the end of the term when the CD matures. That's it. The length of the term is up to you. One month, three month, a year, 10 years, your call. I'll show you how easy it is just to pick and choose whatever you want. And this is an important difference between high interest savings accounts because with those, banks can change that interest rate whenever they want, day by day, without telling you. The rate isn't locked in like it is with a CD. But today's rates, even for CDs, might not stick around much longer thanks to this guy. Powell's in charge of the Federal Reserve, which decides the interest rates. In February, he said he expects rates to get cut in 2024. He reiterated this again in April. And in fact, this year alone, there might be three separate and distinct cuts. And this matters because when feds cut interest rates, the rates of CDs will also go down unless you already have one locked in, then it can't change. The other thing that matters is clicking that like button. It's the only way anyone else on earth will know this video exists. Most major banks offer CDs and here are a few the Wall Street Journal tracked down with the best rates. When we dig into Kenowa Federal Credit Union in Wyoming, we see they're offering a 5.75% yield for a 12-month CD, but only at a $500 minimum. M1 Bank in Missouri is offering a 5.75% yield for only 10 months, but has a $1,000 minimum. Kings Peak Credit Union in Utah has great yields for both 6-month and 12-month Minimum's a thousand bucks. And then Limestone FCU in Michigan comes in with a 12 month. They're at 5.6% APY. And you might be asking, well, what if the Fed decides to raise rates, which means CD rates will go up and here I am locked into this lower crappy rate. Maybe I should just wait and see if rates go up. That's an option. My rule of thumb is that I'll never hit the highs or lows of any investment perfectly. So in my opinion, CD rates are at a high enough level that it's still a win to lock it in now. Step one is to open a brokerage account if you don't have one already. And I go with Charles Schwab because it's the best. Go into the Google machine, search for Schwab, open Schwab account online, individual brokerage, note the zero monthly fees, no minimums, fill out the forms, click submit, you're in the game. So with your brokerage account now open, unfortunately it doesn't come with money in it. So put some money in there. And this brings up another important point of CDs. By and large, the minimum for CD is a thousand bucks. So that means you'll have a thousand dollars committed to this CD for the short term. You can withdraw it early, but every bank's allowed just to make up their own penalty. And I say short term because CDs at their current rates are like a layover for your money. It's just a short stop to earn some solid interest before your money continues on to its final destination. So once your brokerage is funded, you're literally just a few clicks away from investing in a CD. Let's do it right now. Type in username and password and log in. And once you're in, all you do is go up here to trade, go over to CDs, and these are our options. So we just scroll across here and pick whatever we want. If you want a one month CD, you click right there on one month and it gives you the options that Schwab is offering. If we move over to three months, we have more options. Six months, about that, nine months, so on and so forth. So right now I'm gonna put some money in a one month CD. So looking at the options here, we have a Bank of China, Midwest, North American, and Little Rock. So there's a couple numbers we care about. If we look over here under APY, that number is the amount of interest you'll earn over 12 months as money compounds month by month. The amount under coupon, we can expect to make the equivalent of 
one month's worth of 5.2% over a year. So we'll circle back to that in just a minute. So our options for one month are basically 5.25 at the Bank of China, 5.2 at the other banks. My preference is to just go with one of the other banks. I'm willing to forego the 0.05% to not give my money to a Bank of China. So when we look at Midwest One, we'll get some more information here. This CD will mature on May 24th. You can see here, it's a certificate of deposit. It is FDIC insured. This is our rate for the year, so we'll get one month's worth of this amount. If you get a longer term CD, sometimes you'll see the coupon frequency is monthly. That just means it's compounding monthly. So this CD says no cash call identified. If there was a cash call, that means the lender reserves the right to call off the CD, and give you back your money and whatever interest you've accumulated up to that time, but then your CD is effectively over. So you have to roll your money into a new CD or you just put it back in your savings. So I like this because I know the money will stay there for the duration of the term. Let's go ahead and invest. Buy. So this is what a standard Schwab trading interface would look like. You can see here, it's, we're getting a CD. The APY, if that was a 12 month term with compounding interest would be this. We have a one month, so our coupon rate will be this amount. And then it reminds us here that this is not callable. Go ahead and invest. We see the minimum is a thousand bucks. We'll just do 5,000 today. Review the order. Let's take a look at everything. Place order. So it's easy as that. On the next business day, this order will be filled. And then on May 24th, at the end of the term, CD will have matured. Schwab gives us back our original investment plus any interest. So $5,000 times 0.052 for the year equals 260 bucks interest after 12 months. Our CD is only for one month, so we gotta divide this by 12. So about 22 bucks in a month, just sitting there doing absolutely nothing but earning interest. You can see how if you have large sums of money over time, this could be a fantastic passive income generator. So we just scratched the surface with CDs. Like any investment, it's as complicated or as simple as you wanna make it. But so, What's the catch? The biggest reason to not invest in a CD is because your money is tied up for the duration of the term. So you wanna make sure you have some reserve cash for unexpected expenses. Car breaks down, you need a plumber, Powerball goes to a billion, you need 500 lotto tickets like right now, things like that. And two, for some people, 5% interest just isn't exciting enough. So here's the fix. If you're comfortable with a little more risk and wanna be able to pull your money out at a moment's notice, did you know that last year the S&P 500 index returned almost 25%? In this video, I break down the beauty of index funds, the specific ones that I have my own money in, and also how you can beat professional investors 90% of the time. Thanks for watching.